In this video, we'll outline the installation process for the Smart Home Panel. Included in the kit is the Smart Home Panel, Infinity Cable that connects to Delta Pro, wall mounts, relay modules, wiring, and connectors. Remove the screws on the top, bottom, and sides of the Smart Home Panel to remove the faceplate. First, we'll take a look at the relay modules. Each relay module has two relays as well as an overcurrent protection fuse. Each module can be replaced without influencing other circuits. The output wire connectors connect with the load hot wires. They are labeled from number 1 out to number 10 out. The input wire connectors connect directly to the circuit breakers in the existing panel. They are labeled from number 1 in to number 10 in. Below the input connectors are the Delta Pro input and neutral connections. The wires are labeled Pro 1 in, Pro 2 in, N1 and N2. The ground bar connects with the ground wire from the main panel. There is an option to choose between single phase or split phase. For a split phase setup, permanently remove this connector as shown. Delta Pro can connect with the Smart Home Panel either from the front or from the bottom. These are the knockouts for the wiring conduits. Included are input wires, output wires, neutral wires, and ground wires. These are the tools you'll need to install the Smart Home Panel. Determine which load circuits will get battery backup from your home circuits. The Smart Home Panel can connect up to 10 circuits from your main breaker box. The Smart Home Panel has 4 circuits that are rated for 30 amps and 6 that are rated for 20 amps. When load planning, consider which home electronics are most important during a blackout such as a refrigerator, wall outlets and lights in common areas, Wi-Fi router, and sump pump. If Delta Pro will be used for time of use management or solar panel storage, consider which electronics will be used. We recommend that the wires coming from the breaker panel to the smart home panel enter from one of the sides of the smart home panel. The output wires can exit from either the top or side. Placement of the smart home panel should follow the local safe electrical clearance distance. The Smart Home Panel should not be installed outside. Before beginning installation, keep these safety measures in mind. Position and install one mounting bracket on the wall. Then attach a second mounting bracket to the back of the Smart Home Panel. Hang the Smart Home Panel by the mounting bracket, then screw the third mounting bracket on the bottom. Install the relay modules at the position corresponding to the load circuits that they plan to use. Remove the desired knockouts on the Smart Home Panel and the main breaker panel and attach the conduit and conduit whip. Connect the ground wire to the ground bus. Connect the output wires. They are labeled 1 out to 10 out. Connect the input wires. They are labeled 1 in to 10 in. Connect the Delta Pro input wires. They are labeled Pro 1 in, Pro 2 in, N1 and N2.
Turn off the main breaker and each branch circuit breaker and make sure the system is completely de-energized using a voltage detector. Pass all of the wires through the conduits. Connect the ground wire and the two neutral wires to their buses. Connect the charging circuit for the Delta Pro. Each Delta Pro needs to feed off one 30 ampere breaker from the main panel to enable the fast charge function. To connect the inputs, remove the hot wire from the circuit breaker. Connect each input wire to the corresponding circuit breaker. To connect the outputs, connect each load hot wire to the corresponding wires from the smart home panel using wire nuts. Repeat this connecting process for all 10 circuits. The smart home panel has the option for a split phase setup with 240 volts, which requires two Delta Pro units. Each Delta Pro takes up to five of the circuits once the switching connector is removed. The same phase connection should be mirrored in the smart panel and the load center. A Delta Pro unit can be connected to the smart home panel either from the front or from the bottom. Remove the cap from the dummy port and install it onto the one you do not want to use. Then unscrew the infinity port from inside the smart home panel and connect to the port you wish to use. Clean up all the wires once they are connected and tie them with a wire harness. Close the front panel and screw it securely in place. Download the EcoFlow app. Connect a Delta Pro to the smart home panel via the infinity port. Press the IoT button on the smart home panel. Connect your mobile device to the smart home panel through Bluetooth connection. Follow the commission instruction on the app to set up the account and finish the system commissioning. Once finished, your smart home panel is ready to use. Press the enable button to connect Delta Pro. Turn on the 10 backup loads in the main breaker panel one by one. To verify load wire connection and indicator lights. This concludes our installation video. More information can be found in the instructions provided with your smart home panel or on our website. If you have any questions, you can contact EcoFlow Customer Service.